Today's episode is brought to you by Factor. Factor's got those good meals that are going to be delivered directly to your home. Also, today we're brought to you by Privacy Hawk. Privacy Hawk is going to protect your data online, especially that of a personal nature. Now let's jump into this podcast. Hello, everybody. It's time for Ghosts and Friend Dogs. Friend Dogs in the morning. In the morning. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Second episode of Cox and Crendo in the morning. Yo, what up? Oh, dude. I can already tell you're struggling today. I'm. Str I am struggling. <laughs> I'm having like a whole struggle <laughs> session. Uh, what's what's the struggle situation? I don't know. I woke up today and I was kind of like in a funk, like mm. uh, like a daze. So and I realized um, I haven't really had a lot of caffeine lately. Mm. And then uh, I instead of getting caffeine in my system, I went directly because I woke up late. Went directly to the movie theater, seeing early screening of Deadpool. Which, by the way, great movie. Had a blast. All right. Very fun. It was hilarious because, again, this is an R-rated movie. I'm going to let you know they drop F-bombs and body parts are everywhere. And one of the characters they describe using the C, uh, but lovingly. And um, all I'll say is, in the row in front of me was a dad and two kids. And as I looked around the theater, there were a lot of kids. And I was like, you know what? What the hell do I care? I don't <laughs> care. It's not my kids. And uh, it was very funny because at the end of the movie, uh, one of the kids looked over to the dad and was like, Dad? This movie was awesome! And I was like, hell yeah, it was, kid. Hell yeah, it was. <laughs> so uh, that kid seemed all right to me. But um, I went to the movies, and I, I was like, all right, well, go get like a coffee or something at the movie theater bar. Because I know they're not going to serve alcohol right now. But like, I could get I could get a coffee. That could be good. The lines were crazy. I've never seen so many big lines. I mean, congrats to Deadpool bringing in people, but my God. So I was like, all right, well, I'll just get something afterwards. So... I went and uh, saw the movie. Again, like I said, loved it. Came out. And in this area where the movie theater is, there's a lot of um, where, like, they clearly take an area, build a bunch of apartments around it, and then in the middle of that area, build a bunch of um, shops and cool hangout places for, like, hip, cool kids. Uh, but you can't drive there. It's like everyone's walking the street. When uh, I was walking around, there were yeah, two dudes playing ping pong on a table <laughs> in the middle of the street. Now, I haven't seen that, but <laughs> we've got somewhat similar. I saw there were apartments there, and I'm like, yo, when it's time to move, I'm going to check this place out. I'm, I might go over there and check it out and see what it's like <laughs> to live there. Because in the area is a Whole Foods and like seven or eight different restaurants, a bunch of different bars and things. I was like, this is cool. It would be walking distance from your apartment. I was like, this might be one of those uh, walking cities that everyone warns me is going to kill the country or some nonsense. Anyway. <laughs> I was walking around, there were people out in the street, like, having a good time. It felt pretty cool. Uh, and I was like, maybe I'll get something to eat here. You know, I haven't had breakfast or had, you know, anything. I'll get, like, a coffee and maybe, like, a sandwich. Anyway, somehow ended up in the Whole Foods because my mind was like, oh, I'll go to the Whole Foods, I'll get a coffee, and I'll get something from the deli. That's so simple. And I'll just sit outside on a nice day, and I'll eat it. Boy, oh, boy, would that be great. So I go into the Whole Foods, and because I assume ADHD, I don't know. I have no answers for you. Instead of a coffee and a sandwich, I got a soup. Because I, I was like, oh, my God, they have carrot ginger soup? Oh, my God, I want that. <laughs> so I got a cup of carrot ginger soup, and I was like, well, I don't want to get coffee and drinks and, and have a soup. Hot, hot. That doesn't make any sense to me. So I'll get, like, a, a sparkling water. And this carrot soup, but like I gotta have something to dip in the soup. So I went to go see if they have bread. And they didn't have any little things of bread, but they did have a micro loaf of French bread. And I was like, oh well, a micro loaf isn't a full loaf, so I'll just get that. <laughs> and now I'm stuffed with bread and and actually it's bread covered in soup. And I'm like, oh yeah, that was delicious. It's probably too much. I definitely ate too much there. But I still haven't had coffee. And now I'm starting to get a headache. And I'm just like, <laughs> boy, I really screwed the pooch on this one. I had, I could have done it. I could have gotten a coffee. I have not gotten a coffee yet. Yeah, what are you doing? Zero caffeine is in me. I think it, it's maybe it's been 72 hours. I'm starting to crash, dude. I'm starting to come down. I'm starting to get like, maybe if I just got caffeine though. Like, what if I, I, I'm thinking about it in a way that I don't think about anything else. <laughs> I mean, I had, uh, I had two cups of coffee today. So I'm feeling pretty good. Um, now you're just showing off. 
I, I mean, listen, are you are you trying to quit for like just health reasons? Are you trying? No, to, I just, just uh, I just, it, yeah, it hasn't come up. <laughs> huh. I would and not, like, I would not forget to have caffeine. I just, it's been a busy couple days, and for example, yesterday I uh, came in. You know what? That's a lie. That's a lie. I did have one Coke yesterday. Ah, okay. So I have had caffeine. 60 milligrams or something. Yeah, I did have one Coke yesterday. So I have had some caffeine. Mm -hmm. Yes. But I, yeah, yesterday I woke up, drank some water because I'm on my like, got to drink water first thing in the morning. And then I was going to go and uh, make some coffee, but then like got caught up in some nonsense. And I was like, oh man, I got to go stream. So I ran to the office and started my stream. And then I, you messaged me like, hey, you want to watch a movie? And I was like, oh, yeah, tonight is movie night. Okay. So I just <laughs> stayed and streamed all day from like 10 a.m. to whenever we finished. Uh, I think that would have been 11 your time. That's what I'm saying. And I had uh, – the only thing I had that day was tacos uh, and, and that Mexican Coke that I got with it. You also had That's the what horchata I rum. I did have horchata and rum, but I don't think <laughs> horchata has caffeine. No. Well, then I had a bunch of water. Like I had a bunch of water, and that was the thing. But like, yeah, that's why. Why don't you just like pause the stream and be like, "Hey guys, I'll be back in like ten minutes to make coffee." <laughs> I just wasn't thinking about it. I was on some other stuff. I, I think a lot of people with ADD have the uh, the hyperfixation thing. Maybe because... that's maybe yeah. Maybe I'm ADHD. Or ADHD, that's what I meant. Because it's just, uh, I've seen that in a lot of people with it, where they're able to like hyper focus. And I was like, dude, I wish I could do that. Not all the time, but like at certain points. <laughs> I was so into it. I was having a great time. And then I looked over and I was like, oh my God, it's almost time for Crendor. Um, and yeah, so I got I got lunch and I ate that on stream. Usually I'm not a big eater on stream person, but I was like, well, if I got to do a thing with Crendor, I got to do a thing with Crendor. So I did mm -hmm. that. And then I was like, yeah, I'll get something after we're done. But then we finished at like 11 something. I was like, all right, well, I'll go home. Then I went home, went to bed, woke up, drank uh, some water, and then went to the movies. And then, yeah, still terrible mistakes have been made. <laughs> I'm just like, every day I wake up, I wait like 20, 30 minutes, then I make my coffee. I heard the thing was like, they're waiting an hour. I'm like, I don't give a shit. I'm not waiting an hour. 30 minutes is good. I wait 30 minutes, make my coffee, and then I drink that, I eat my breakfast, and then I wait like three, four more hours, and I have kind of like a, a half cup almost. I have like a little Eeyore cup. Mm -hmm. It's like a it's like a standard like European size cup or something you drink on the street, and you're sitting out there with your baguette. I was thinking of baguette. What's the, the croissant? More like yeah, a you want a croissant. Croissant? Yeah. So you're just like, so that's like my second cup. It's like a smaller cup. You know, just get that second like, whoop. Sometimes I don't even do that. Sometimes I'll, I'll pass the second cup, go for the matcha green tea instead. Just the Well, pens. of course. As we yeah. know now, you are a matcha man. I was unaware of your ability to, you're like a, like one of those guys who actually makes matcha the right way and not just dips a bag in some water. Yes. I'm very much a, uh, I'm like a, uh, I don't know, I'm like a purist of drinks, where it's like, I like very specific, like, I'll have, like, wine, I'll have beer, I will have coffee, but it's like black coffee, I'll have matcha green tea, but I, I don't mix stuff in, I'm not like, a little cream here, or like, I'm gonna spruce this up with some, what, a, like, no, nah, I'm just like, just plain thing, although I do that with, like, salad, I, I don't have salad dressings, the only salad dressing I'll have is Caesar salad. No salad dressing for any other salad. Really? Yeah. I was like, yeah, this sounds like Crendor is just like, you know, he found his he found his lot in life. He knows what's up. He understands who he is. He likes what he likes. You not liking salad dressing, including all the other things you just said? <laughs> Serial killer. Serial killer. Uh, the only thing I'm killing is that salad, bro. <laughs> um, I, I no salad. But how often do you I put like Caesar, Caesar on salad, salad dressing? Uh, I don't know, whenever there's a Caesar salad. I usually have, like, one Caesar salad a week. To be fair, I don't really eat, like, salad salad that much. So it's, like, the only time I'll have, like, salad salad is, like, at a family gathering thing where someone makes salad, and I'm like, ah, I'll just have a bit of it, but I don't want dressing. I just don't like a lot of the salad dressing. Okay. 
if I do have salad dressing, it's like a, I'll use like a little olive oil or something like that. You know what I mean? All right, that's I'm, no, no, I totally get it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, like that. I understand. I'm yeah. just saying to you, you being like I, I'm a purist. I only like my coffee black. <laughs> I like my matcha tea the way like no ad- additives. I prefer everything you said. I was like, uh huh, uh huh, yeah. I do. Yeah, okay. okay. I just like. And then you're like, in stuff. salad, I don't want any. Dr- my chicken must be plain. I do not want it grilled. I prefer it boiled. Also, and like <laughs> I was waiting for you to get crazy. No, it's, it's not it's specifically drink stuff, but I'll still have drinks that have stuff. It's like, I guess it's like specific things. Like I'll still have other drinks that have things mixed together, but it's those. Okay. It's like very specific, like coffee, tea, wine, beer. I mean, I get it. I, that's why you're uh, 26 pounds and I am not. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I gotta yeah. have some type of like cool creamer in my coffee and i got you know like i gotta have some type of dressing on this salad like what am i gonna eat just the lettuce that's ridiculous <laughs> come on now yeah no, that's true it. i hear that uh most of the calories from salad stuff comes in the dressing it's probably true i mean most of it lettuce is a whole bunch of nothing yeah it really is it's just in fact lettuce doesn't have that much nutritional value either really it's, it's just some. roughage yeah it doesn't yeah. really do much yeah, that's, I think that's another reason I don't really like salad stuff. It's just kind of, it's kind of, I don't know. I'd rather have those vegetables and stuff in the salad and other things. Yo, I love, man, there's this one salad that's at the grocery store. It's one of those like bag salads that you can get. I don't know what it's called, so I'm not going to shout them out or even attempt to. But right. uh, it's like a mango habanero salad. Oh my God, it's so spicy and so good and messes me up and I love it. <laughs> love it. That does sound pretty good. But I do like mango habanero. But that's like that's what I'm saying. Usually, if I get if I have that, I'm gonna have it on like the chicken wings. Sure. Imagine it, not the same consistency of the sauce, but the same flavor. Right. Across an entire salad. Obviously, what I do is I realize I was told this the other day. I'm I'm doing a Kardashian, which I'm not sure exactly. I, I appreciate that, but I understand it now. Where I won't like if I have a salad and I have dressing, I'm not gonna sit there and pour the dressing over the salad i'm not a big you know me i'm not a big sauce guy i don't like a lot of so i'll pour some and then close a lid and then shake it Uh, so it gets all over it but it isn't a lot and Mm. then yeah and i was told that's a kardashian thing to do so i feel like i'm just like kim is what i'm saying yeah yeah i I didn't it feels like a lot of people do that i don't even think it's a kardashian thing you kind of are a kardashian i I agreed i feel like i should have money (laughs) and a sex tape yeah yeah, you're like the one, the Kardashian that they, it's like the, they have a random relative off in like some random place that nobody really knows. And he's like, I'm a Kardashian. And they're just like, make sure he doesn't get on the property. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Keep him off the property. Yeah. But you're still part of it. You still have the traits. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Got a big booty and uh, love salad, I guess. That's my thing. Yep. Yep. <laughs> um, I don't. Uh, how do we get here? Caffeine. I. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's right. Caffeine. I don't know. I. Uh, I, I think you're supposed to only have. What was it like four hundred milligrams max a day? What is ideal amount of caffeine in a day? I really don't want to know this, and I feel like we've already looked this up before, and I probably forgot specifically because I don't want to know this. It's 400. Okay. So, and what is in a cup of coffee? I believe it's like 100 caffeine in a cup of coffee. Uh, One eight ounce cup is 95 milligrams. All right. Well, that's not too bad. bad. Yeah, but it can fine. vary. What, uh, question. Yeah. Espresso versus coffee. Uh, In a line. What if you get a double shot of espresso? How messed up are you? Uh, Espresso is... One fluid ounce is 64 milligrams. So I guess that'd be like 120, 130. And so, all right, but I don't know what a shot is in fluid ounces. Uh, I would imagine a shot is whatever the one fluid ounce is. Is two is shots it? of espresso a lot of caffeine? The average is 63 milligrams. Yeah. So yeah, two shots, you're getting around 120. Okay, well, I'm not too stressed then. I thought I was going over. I'm clearly not. The problem is... I uh, I don't know. Uh, when I don't have it, I'm like, what if I was having it? And so now I have like a little 
eh, eh, in my neck, and it's been hurting me all day. And it started because I had a headache earlier today, and I was like, well, it will go away. And then it went away during the movie, and now I'm like, what's this neck thing? Oh, man. And it only ever happens when I don't drink caffeine. I mean, yeah, it could be a caffeine headache, but like, uh, it always me, is. Oh. It's always a caffeine headache. Always. My caffeine is usually two cups of coffee. And like, even if I have one or like a little bit, I don't really get headaches. I feel like it's when you have a lot of caffeine and stuff. You got a whole system set up where you drink your coffee and you do it on a daily basis. And it sort of like baselines you. Me, right. I'm all over the place. Sometimes I'll wake up, do some stuff, then drink a coffee. Sometimes I'll wait and it'll be like 5 p.m. I'm like, man, I can use a coffee. I, I'm all over the place. I have no set defined life pattern, which is probably why I'm the mess I am. That's true. You, <laughs> we figured it you're out. You're supposed to say, no, <laughs> man, you're doing fine. No, you're no, all no. right. That's what everybody else would tell you. I'm just like, listen, you've been a mess for a while. Maybe you're right. Maybe this, maybe this is it. <laughs> yeah so i'm here yeah. i'm like the the realist all right i'm the i'm the one realist in your life i'm gonna bring you back down to earth everyone else is there to boost you up right, right. Bring yeah, you back yeah, oh down. yeah oh mm -hmm. yeah everyone's here to boost me up <laughs> everybody's boosting you up dodger there's so many people trying to pull up. me back down <laughs> i think the one boosting myself up is me you're all <laughs> grasping me like balloons trying to get away but i'm like no way guys can't catch me <laughs> yeah um, by the way, speaking of caffeine, did you know that light roast coffee actually has more caffeine than dark roast coffee? Why would that be? You would think dark roast would have more. You would, but it's also acidity. Light roast has more acidity than dark roast. It's all just like the way it's brewed and the type of bean and everything. So yeah, I learned, because I remember I used to try light roast and I'd always get more heartburn and I'd have dark roast. And I'd be like, I actually do better with this. And then I looked it up and they're like, yeah, that's why. And I was like, dude. What? And so now I, do, I mainly just drink dark roast, and I like the way it tastes more anyway. Light roast is always a bit too, like, I think it's the acid. Which, by the way, that's why my Dodger coffee's doing so well. The Midnight Sloth Dark Roast. That's I love right. that. Over on the, the Dodger <laughs> Coffee website. I don't even know what the website is. I'm not going to lie. It's that's fine. <laughs> DodgerCoffeeCo.com. There you go. Best seller. Get the roast. Best Get seller today. right now. The best seller? That's awesome. It's the best seller. It's destroying Dodgers, Dodger coffees. Yeah, I did see the uh, the YouTube short. I didn't watch the Geek Ender, but I got a short of her yelling at you about uh, starting beef with people, people. And she was just like, no. And she was yelling at you like a, a kid. She had the mom, though. I'm trying to get her to start beef so our show will become popular. That is honestly solid idea. I agree, and I, and she and she was like, "Oh, we can start with VTubers." And I was like, "Yeah, but VTubers, we can't see their face. Like, we don't know what's behind their beady eyes, right? So we don't know what's going Plus, on." Plus, VTubers, they have like some, they have powerful fans. Those people would yeah. stop at nothing to defend the VTubers. Yeah, that's not a beef. That's like that'll lead to actual violence. Yeah, yeah no, everyone good. knows that. Everyone knows mm -hmm. that. Yeah, yeah. So I said, Lindsey Sterling, we got to fight Lindsey Sterling. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, right? <laughs> what's she gonna do? Violin us to death? No, we're fine. Yeah, and Dodger was not okay with that. She was like, "No," and I was like, "It doesn't be a real like." I was like, "Dodger, psh, it doesn't have to be a real beef. We like get in on this. Stick. Like, don't you know how beef works? God, she doesn't get beef. I guess she doesn't. She thought it uh, had to be a real thing. No, our people contact her people, and then we like arrange internet fights, and then we do like a rap album against each other. Yeah, I I, I think it's a great plan. I I think she just doesn't understand. I think she's too nice. She is too nice. She doesn't get it. She doesn't get how entertainment works. <laughs> you got to start beefing with people. Those are the rules. Yeah, and then everyone starts being like, yo, you see what's going on over here? And then yep, they start looking. Yep. And they yep. tune in to see, see what's happening. That's all like most of the bunch of the Reddits are. They're like, did you see what Streamer X said about Streamer Y? And they're like, I got to tune in to see this. That's what I'm saying. Most, <laughs> most internet content now is people being like, did you see what this guy just said? I'm like, no. I, I don't care either, but like, what if someone did that for us though, right? <laughs> yeah. Or at least they posted. Did you see what they just said? And then people were like, no, I don't care. But it would be us. They don't care about. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be cool. <laughs> and Dodger then you get people. Uh, then you get people reacting to it. You got like all the re the react people just being like, we gotta right? react to the latest drama. What else just happened? Yeah, and you know, come on, you know. Everyone on the internet's gunning for Lindsay Sterling. She prances about that stage <laughs> with her violin, <laughs> dancing, making people smile. No, no, no. She's had it too easy for too long.
Too easy. It's time to take her down a peg. <laughs> 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 the worst part is, is that I, I keep seeing people be like, Jesse, you're trying to start beefs, and it just... It's really upsetting. And I'm like, it is such a joke. Please. Dodger fans. Please don't take this seriously. Those are the Dodger fans. They're just with her. They don't get it. Here's the thing. All right. You got two extremes. All right. You got the people. That they take jokes too far. And then you got the people that can't take any jokes. And they're both terrible. Both terrible. All right. Because you got the. You literally can't make a joke about anything. They're just like, I have somebody I know. And they have the. They don't like this thing that you're talking about. So you shouldn't joke about it. And it's like. It's not even like serious or crazy or like, and it's just like, you're just making a joke. It's like, all right. But then you have the other side where they're like, they'll be like, here's my racist joke or whatever. And everyone's like, what are you talking about? And they're just like, I see, I can't make jokes at all anymore. In this economy. Yeah. And then it's yeah. like, that's also terrible too. And it's like, can we just be normal? <laughs> Honestly, I think Twitter's made it worse. And the, the internet, social media. I think it all just stems from people being on edge or on social media. They're all like, it's almost like they're they're just circling in the waters, being like, where's the look for somebody to attack? And then there are the people that are like the actual crazies and they're just like posting shit. And they got like 8 billion likes on their like shitty tweet about some shitty joke. And they're just like, yeah, come at me, trolls and idiots. I did <laughs> have a moment today. Um so I, I posted the story I told you about the kid being like, Dad, this was awesome, because I thought it was mm. funny there was like a 10-year-old at Deadpool. Mm. But um, when I was on Twitter, I saw someone post a thing about uh, the new Doctor Doom information. I won't spoil anything for people who really care, but they're planning the next phase of Marvel. And this person posted a, you know, just a long tirade about how, like, this is stupid. I don't understand why they would do this. This is why I don't watch this stuff. Like, just going off on it. And I realized at that moment while reading it, I was like, I don't think I give a shit what your opinion is on this. <laughs> Here's the problem, is I literally just shared a thing on Twitter, like, hey, guys, I saw this, like, you know. So <laughs> You're doing it, too. My relationship to Twitter is the same as everyone's relationship to their congressman. Where everyone hates Congress and thinks Congress gets nothing done right, but their congressman's a good guy. Yeah. <laughs> that's how I feel. Like, I, all your thoughts about stuff, I'm like, that's stupid. My thoughts, however, are very important. Yeah. That <laughs> and I feel like that is most people on the internet right now. Oh, I think yeah, everyone that's... hates being there, but they just like sharing what's going on with them. And honestly, I think it's one of those catch-22 situations where... People desperately want to connect with others or share their thoughts and feelings because they feel like they're voiceless or unheard or, you know, people respond to them and give them feedback. In my case, I will very freely admit, I like when people talk to me. I like interacting with other people. And when I put something out there and people respond to me, I enjoy that. It's the same reason I like doing live shows. It's the same reason I like just talking to people in public. I'm that type of person. It's just part of my MO to... Say, here's my thoughts, let's chat, right? And I'm fine with reactions where people are like, I disagree. And I'm like, okay, talk to me. Why do you disagree? Like that kind of stuff. I think there's a thing on, especially Twitter now and other social media where when you begin to get paid for it and it's based on views and views with interactions, people skew much more heavily towards things that are very aggravating or things that reconfirm biases. But basically you're scamming the system and you're putting out truly insane things to get reactions so you can make money or get attention or whatever. And I think that has caused a huge problem in social media. People have been like this. And it just so happens that now there's platforms for them to be like that. And it allows sure. them to be an amplified version of that as well. So I think it even makes it worse. So it gives them the avenue to go down there and then it makes it worse because... They can just be like, blah, 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 blah. And then other people can easily reply to that instead of just like being out in, you know, a normal real life situation where people just be like, it's pretty, I don't know what they're saying, just walk away or just like ignore it. Now it's like you can't ignore it. It's there. It's plastered on the screen. And you're just like, I got, now I have to react or something. It's just like, no, you don't. And you're rewarded for doing it. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, that's pretty bad. In fact, I, I really only go on to check like sports updates <laughs> and that's mainly it or like didn't is there a nintendo direct soon and i'm like oh there is cool close i try to limit my time as well but i somehow 
end up still on that site more than I feel like I should be. So what's what's bringing you back? Oh, um, work. Yeah, yeah, but you don't have to read other people's stuff to work. You just post it. So I have the attention span of of uh, like that dog who goes squirrel. That's me. Right. And when I go there to do something for work, I will be like, oh, oh yeah. I'll see one thing and be like, oh yeah. And then I'll start to do a thing. And then I'm down the rabbit hole. I have no self control. I don't think you understand. I mean, I, I have zero self control. Uh, today I <laughs> want to go get a coffee. Crendor, I want to get a coffee. I end up with the with the thing of a loaf of bread and a <laughs> cup of soup and sitting outside on a hot summer day. I have zero control. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess you're right. You're a lost cause. <laughs> I don't. I there's no. You cannot help me. I'm a mess. Uh, you know, I'm curious how like how you used to be in terms of being a mess like ten years ago compared to now. Oh, uh, same, big same. <laughs> like, has it has it gotten worse? Have certain no, it's things... the exact. It's the exact same. Nothing is different. <laughs> well, I mean, like because like social media and stuff's gotten more prevalent. So does that mean? Is that any of that increased? Oh, social media only. I just refocus. Like what? It's like before you would be on ICQ or uh, Ventrilo or that kind of thing. Right. And so I'd spend time on there. Or okay. I'd go to... Um, so you just had different places you would just sit. Yeah, I'd be in a different place. Like uh, I see. in high school, I did theater and I would focus my attention there and goof off there. And have like hot takes there. Uh, in college, I worked at a radio station, which let me yell out into the void of people who were listening. Um, mm. I uh, was in theater there as well, and I uh, had a lot of different friends. And I'd go and keep my mind occupied doing all sorts of stupid stuff. And I, plus, then I also had video games still. And then when I was a teacher, I did teaching stuff all the time, and that kept my mind occupied as I like dealt with the constant barrage of problems that would occur i don't know man it's just it's always i've always been this way huh. I mean, and uh, and potentially it has gotten worse i don't know i have no answers <laughs> for you i no one's told me that it hasn't right so i don't know <laughs> <laughs> but maybe they're just afraid to tell you it hasn't do do i seem like the person that people are afraid to tell things to uh, I mean, not to me, but <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> random strangers come up to me and are like, bro, let me tell you something. You look like you could give me three dollars. I'm like, what? <laughs> That's right. I've seen your tweets. You look like you got three dollars you could give me. Today I was at the gas station and I saw a bike gang and not like a cool gang of like dudes on bikes, but like. Mm -hmm teens on mopeds uh, and yep. uh they thought they were the coolest and i'm gonna let you know they weren't <laughs> 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 they were like uh, talking to some dude in a car and they're like yeah you got a lighter man and he's like no so i was like oh you a punk you a punk you don't have a lighter i'm like imagine four of the like skinniest youngest looking white kids you've ever seen in your entire life and they tried to go inside the convenience mart and they like the guy who owned it was like get out of here get out of here, you punk kids and they're like you can't tell us what to do mister it was crazy i was like what is happening who are they we have roving bands of moped kids now what's going on it sounds like they're raised up in the 1940s as well the, the worst part was they were like we aren't even from here we're from downtown la i'm like whoa 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 time out did you ride a moped from downtown to here? Also, are there roving gangs of moped kids in downtown LA? What is it? I saw a side of this city I've never seen before today. Dude, have you seen those motorized scooters? Like the avalanches? No, they're like motor they're like electric scooters. It's just a scooter, but you can tell it's motorized because people are just scooting and they're just like cruising along on them. I what swear I see those all over now. You haven't seen the motorized scooters? No, what do you mean motorized scooter? Hold on. Like, uh, I'll show you a picture like these. Oh, oh, yes. Okay, you don't know. They're all over my part of the city. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Everybody's on, though. And it's like, it's supposed to just be like scooters were for scooting along. And you're like, doo -doo -doo. but now it's like, they're going like 
20 miles an hour on those things. Yeah, they got huge battery packs in them now, and people are driving. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I heard there's, like, dentists that are like, oh, yeah, we've got a lot of people that, like, fall and bust their teeth <laughs> on those. It's like, I can't believe there's that many of them now. And I guess people are just like, yeah, I can get wherever I want to go now real fast. But it's, like, that is, like, insanely dangerous. And I, <laughs> I would be worried, like, you're going to get hit by a car even. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I, I they're... I guess convenient if you're trying to get around a part of a city that you're new to or you're vacationing in and you don't have to take a cab to get somewhere like, you know, if you don't want to walk, you're trying to get somewhere in a hurry and you want to go like a mile or whatever, then sure. I, I see people do it all the time. The thing is, is that when they're done with them, they just dump them in the street. I can't tell you the amount of times I've had to dodge just random scooters in the middle of the street because someone dumped it there. Or someone walked along and there were five or six, you know, set up to use, and then some kid kicked them in the street. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, man. They, and the thing is, is they put them everywhere here because it's it's right. Like I am very close to Venice, right? Mm. And Venice Beach is a huge spot in Venice, and so people will get those scooters and go up and down Venice Beach, and and so they have them all over this area for people who want to go use them. And, uh, yeah, they, they set them up, like, five or six at a time on a street corner, and then uh, either they get taken and used, or at night you find them in the middle of the street. <laughs> huh. Yep. Yeah, that's... Hey. So I'm not, I'm not a fan of them, but I understand the necessity for them, and I actually think they're pretty cool. But honestly, if anything, I kind of feel like I want to become, become a bike person. Like, I want to get a bike. You want to... Like a dude, they got motorized bikes too. Not a Those motorized bike, crazy. like a bike, bike, like a bike. But the thing is, is yeah. I want a bike that I can ride both on land, but also if I need to, like on the sand. If I want to go down to the beach, mm. just but like I don't know what that beach. is. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I because there's like beach tires, right? But I mm. know there's a. T I don't know, dude. So I haven't, I haven't gone much. I, I think about it often, and then I'll immediately get distracted by something else. Because as we've discovered, that happens frequently for me. Yep. <laughs> That's a truther. Yep. Uh, and I'm letting you know right now, after this conversation's over, I will have forgotten we just talked about this. Well, you know what's something you shouldn't forget about? <laughs> <laughs> Your online privacy. That's right. Today, we are sponsored by Privacy Hawk, which, let me just stress to you, was very needed by this man that you're listening to right now, because I, I don't remember if I talked about this before. I got a message from Alaska Airlines that was like, hey, your airline miles have been successfully used to book a hotel in London, England for one night at the Ritz-Carlton. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> Apparently, someone hacked into my Alaska Airlines Sky Miles account and used all my Sky Miles that I've accumulated over many years of flying Alaska slash Virgin because they're the same thing now. So I had to call them and get it all canceled. But my favorite thing I did was... I called them and canceled the booking, but I didn't I didn't want them to alert anyone because my hope was that they would whoever this was would go to the hotel trying to get their room and the they were like, sorry, we have no booking under that name. I really just wanted to make someone's day inconvenient is what I wanted to do. <laughs> right. Um but it sucked. I had to go through a bunch of hoops and they were like, Well, you may or you may not get back your sky miles. And I'm like, What do you mean? They're like, Well, you have to go through this. I'm like Apparently, there's writing that says if you use them, you, you they're gone. Right. And I was like, well, I didn't use them. Someone else used them. And they're like, well, that's why you may or may not get them back. I was like, oh, my God. So <laughs> the whole process was a pain that could have been prevented had I been alerted that somewhere a while ago, the accounts for Alaska, I guess, were hacked or something. I don't know. And so my information was on the dark web, and someone just finally used it. I guess that's the thing that happened. So awesome. Uh, but with Privacy Hawk... It's going to be your all-in-one data management app. It's designed to help you regain control of your personal information. It automatically manages who uses or shares your data, allowing you to opt out and delete your personal info from thousands of company and data broker websites and things like that. Privacy Hawk helps you discover where your personal information is exposed online. It'll minimize your digital footprint, stopping the sale of your info to people who you don't want to have it. And they'll even give you a unique privacy score so you can keep track of your online privacy as it changes over time. 
They'll provide you with comprehensive ID theft protection, monitoring multiple names, phone numbers, addresses, social security numbers, and more. With a million dollars in insurance, dark web and data breach alerts, and continuous monitoring, Privacy Hawk ensures you are protected even if the worst happens. The best part, something I really appreciate is the phone support, the live phone support. So what you can do right now, if you want to check it out, download Privacy Hawk, get your free privacy scan, and use code COX20 for 20% off their platinum plan. So again, check out Privacy Hawk, code COX20 for 20% off their platinum plan. Also today we're brought to you by Factor. Warmer summer days are finally calling. So fuel up for them with Factor's no prep, no mess meals. Meet your wellness goals in time for summer thanks to the menu of chef-crafted meals with options like Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto. Factor's fresh, never-frozen meals are dietitian-approved, ready to eat in just two minutes. So no matter how busy you are, there's going to be something nutritious and great-tasting ready for you. And like I said, two minutes. With 35 different meals and over 60 additional add-ons to choose from every week, you'll have a ton of new flavors to explore. I'm telling you, I love the add-ons. The meals, I like the meals. The, the add-ons, sometimes I'll just get like a sausage or chicken wings or all sorts of, like just little things to add on the side. Sometimes it's needed. Sometimes you're trying to eat healthy, <laughs> but you're like, damn it, I, 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 want, I want some sausage. <laughs> Make your whole day delicious. From breakfast to dessert, you can stay fueled. They even have uh, various drinks that you can get as well. Uh, it's, it's awesome. Plus, you can get premium ingredients like filet mignon, shrimp, blackened salmon. Effortlessly keep up and support your lifestyle. Choose six menu preferences to help you manage calories, maximize protein intake, avoid meat, or simply eat well balanced meals so head over to factor.com slash cox50 and use code cox50 to get 50 percent off your first box plus 20 percent off your next month that's code cox50 at factormeals.com slash cox50 to get 50 percent off your first box plus 20 percent off your next month while your subscription is active all right quick, let's go chop yourself with the guys get all that out there oh man let me tell you something there's traffic. There's a lot of it. It is prime traffic season. You got people going on vacations, coming back from vacations, just going out. It's hot outside, so they're going to the beach. They're going and doing stuff outside. They're going everywhere outside. It's lighter out. It's warm. It's a mess in terms of traffic, so watch out for those cars because people drive terribly. I saw some terrible drivers already today and uh, pretty much every day, to be honest. Thank you. Thanks, Crendor. Now let's go over to weather. How's that weather? Weather. Um, weather. Uh, we got a weather request for Centripe, Italy, a small town shaped like a human. Do we have a map? Hold on, hold on. What is this town called? Uh, Centripe. C e n t u r i p e. And. Center ripe and uh, Italy. Here we are. It is currently. It really does look like a person. Well, let me see this. Do you think that oh, they yeah. agreed they can't expand the city? Like, do they have a thing that says no more new houses? Probably. Because, <laughs> I mean, it looks like a person from above. Oh, that's lovely. It really does. Yeah, you can, like, find where you are. You're like, oh, yeah, there we go. I'm, I'm definitely still here because I'm in the lake. Not going to lie. Shout out to the house that uh, definitely is like the dick. <laughs> yeah i mean there's one right there and i'm like that's it well over in center ripe and italy it's 70 degrees fahrenheit feels like 70 degrees uh humidity 67 percent pressure 30 inches visibility nine miles winds at six mile an hour dew point 59 uv index zero moon phase last quarter 602 a.m sunrise 8 11 p.m sunset and the 10 day we got Monday, 93 and sunny. Tuesday, 95, mostly sunny. Wednesday, 93, sunny. Thursday, 94, sunny. Friday, 97, sunny. Saturday, 95, mostly sunny. And then Sunday and onward is pretty much just 90s and sunny. It's just a lot of 90s and a lot of sunny over in Center Ripe. I must stress to you, um, the dong of this uh, city man 
mm-hmm. is in fact City Hall and the post office, which is awesome. <laughs> is I love fun. that. I love I love that a lot. <laughs> that was pretty good. There's a lot of you know what looking at this is really frustrating because everything here, when you go to look at like, oh, I wonder what exists here, like what their uh what the, what kind of food is there? Like just quaint little pizza cafes, a uh, nice little bakery, a bar that all the images of the bar are outside and dogs. <laughs> Another bar that just looks like it's on the street. Yeah. A bakery that uh, all the videos are of kids dressed up as like little clowns and stuff. <laughs> None of this shows the food. It only shows what's going on in the city, which I think is really charming. That's true, actually. I didn't even, I didn't even put that together. Like, there's one place I'm looking at here. It's it's um, some type of rotisserie for chicken, but half the images are like families hanging out or uh, people posting weird things. It's very quaint. I love this. I, I don't know how I would describe this to anyone. I don't know if it's like a, a touristy spot or this is just where people hang out. It reminds me, have you seen... What are the movies where Denzel Washington just kills people for no reason? Well, I mean, he does have a reason they're bad people, but he, like, just kills them. The You're equalizer the, or the eraser man or whatever whatever the hell it's called. You're asking the wrong person. Well, in the <laughs> third movie of those, he ends up in Italy, and he ends up in a small town. And he's like, you know, I could quit my whole life and retire here. Stop killing so many people. <laughs> That's how I feel about this. I would stop killing so many people and just move here. Because it, <laughs> it looks very sweet. Everyone there looks like... Uh, you know, it's a very small town, and everyone's kind of like, yeah, we're all friends, or I don't know, maybe the mob runs it. I have no, I don't know what the rules <laughs> are. <laughs> How big is this town? Uh, 5,400 people, so that's pretty small. I mean, if you go to a map, and you scroll far out, you can barely you can barely tell it exists. But the closer you get on the map, the more it looks like the streets are the veins of the, of the man. It's very cool looking. That is really, oh yeah, I see what you mean. That is really crazy. Yeah. What's up with the the head? You got Boltega Element Elementary and Gardenwed Abido. Yeah, and they both they both are listed as markets, but it doesn't. I got. I don't know that they are markets. They look like just a hole in the wall. But again, it's a small town, so who the hell? Do I, what the hell do I know? Yeah, I don't know. It's like they got a tobacco shop, and the tobacco shop is just a door. <laughs> <laughs> A door to nicotine. Uh, and really, all the restaurants are just like in the center. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I was like, oh, I wonder what's at the heart. And I remembered it's Italy, and of course, it's a church. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> that makes a sense. A Catholic yeah. church directly on the heart. I was like, that's cute. All right. So, yeah, they definitely planned everything out in terms of like relation to the body almost, which I guess like the stomach. And the digestive system would have all the restaurants, right? Yeah, probably. I'm. When was this city founded? That's what we need to know. That's true. Yeah, we gotta figure that out. Which means. Well, they're archaeological sites, so like it's been around for a while. Hmm. Uh, Emperor Frederick II entirely destroyed the city in 1233 as punishment for rebellion. Sounds about right. Yep. Uh, Cicero described it as the largest and richest city in Sicily. Uh, it appears to have suffered much in the war against Sextus Pompeius. So this city's old. Yeah, this old, city's old. old shit. <laughs> the question is, when did they decide to make it look like a person? Yeah, that is that is the question. That's got to be... Like, what sucks is that if you go to the website for it, and it doesn't at all... You would think the first thing it would say is, like, this city looks like a man. But nope, it, it absolutely does not say that. In fact, it just lists the history of it without even mentioning it. Yeah. Like nobody I'm looking there's like nobody that talks about when it happened. I feel like that's the most important part. Yeah, and like they they have drone shots of it, and apparently the drone shots are like the way they found out, which like that can't there's gotta be like planes and stuff that flew over that saw it, right? Like, I don't know. So is the implication here that they just did this on accident? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe, but like that it's it's way too plain to be an accident. That's what I'm saying. 
But it's such an old city, so you would figure maybe like a, it's like an old, boy, I don't know, man. It says, the layout of the town is said to date back to the 16th century. Mm, it was destroyed, so like I get it. it, it obviously it wasn't going to be the same thing it was before. So I guess they did it as like a 16th century kind of, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. It is cool looking. You can even, it even looks cool lit up at night. Yeah, it's like in a mountain too, which is like on top of a mountain. It's very neat. Yeah. Very neat stuff. So I love, like, this looks cool. Yeah, I have no does. idea what to do there. I'd probably be bored in a day, but like, oh, yeah. <laughs> it looks cool. Yeah, like it kind of looks like one of those cities you'd settle in like civilization. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. It's like just a bunch of like hills and land around for resources. And you're like, here's my city. And it just looks like a bunch of buildings rising, rising up. Like the it's, game recommends it. Yeah. It's like you should. There's a lot of resources around. You should settle here. Yeah. Yeah. Except you know the city's shaped like a person. Like a, like a yeah. So yeah, that's pretty neat. Interesting. All right. Well, that's the more the you know. Let's go to sports. 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 Um, folks, welcome to the sports desk. Hey. We've got sports. The Olympics have started. So currently. Take a look at the medal tracker. The USA is number one at 12 medals. The French have eight medals, and Japan has seven medals. Uh, obviously, there's a lot more Olympic stuff that keep going. <laughs> but Is that gold uh, medals or just medal medals? No, these are just medals. In terms of gold medals, it is Japan and Australia tied with four. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then United States, France, and South Korea, and China all have three. And then Italy, Kazakhstan, Belgium, Uzbekistan, Hong Kong, and Germany all have one gold medal. And then those are all the gold medals. What does Kazakhstan have a medal in? Or is it Kazakhstan? I don't, I don't even know if there's a Kazakhstan. Does Kazakhstan no, no. exist? <laughs> uh, they, let's see, it's got to be here. Kazakhstan... Uh, it's judo Olympic champion. Yo, that's cool as hell. Okay, that is pretty cool. Look at that. Yeah, they won yeah. judo. So that happened. Uh, we had baseball trades are happening. Uh, the trade deadline's gonna be here in a few days. Uh, in terms of standings, you got the Orioles in first. You got the Cleveland Guardians in first. You got the Houston Astros tied with the Mariners in first. You got the Phillies in first. The Brewers in first, and the Dodgers in first uh and then football training camp starting up i'm excited favorite time of the year football's getting going uh, american football that is uh and then you know give it like two months and we got all four major american slash north american sports going on at the yeah. same time that's my favorite time uh so pretty cool that's sports all right what is our Fact of the day. Fact of the day. 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 Um, the man with the world's deepest voice can make sounds humans can't hear. What? Says the man, Tim Storms, can't <laughs> even man. hear the Stop. note. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> they can't say the man, Tim Storms. <laughs> this guy's the already man. cooler than we will ever be. The man. <laughs> Uh, man, Tim Storm. That sounds like the name of a band. The band, Tim Storm. <laughs> it does. Uh, can't even hear the note, which is eight octaves below the lowest G on a piano, but elephants can. What? But what is the sound? Don't make mm. me have to look this up. I mean, it's just a low, deep sound. It's probably like, ooh, but like so low that like our ears can't even pick it up. It's like a vibration. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like that? Yeah, but it's like way lower. It's got to be lower because you can hear it. If you can hear it, then it's not it. Interesting. Yeah. So it's just humans can't hear it, but elephants can. Well, how can. do they know that then? Probably because they got science tracking on them. I don't know. <laughs> like they they got science? Like you're telling me that they they heard him make a sound that they can't hear. I mean, yeah, there's plenty of animals that do that. That's what it's I'm like asking. How, so what instrumentation did they use to discover this? 
I don't know. It was just some like I guess. Like, what was what was the start of A? Like, w- did he do it? And someone was like, "Boy, what are you doing? I can't hear anything." And he's like, "Oh, I'm making a noise." And they're like, "No, you're not." And he's like, "I am." And they're like, "Okay, fine. Prove it. Let's go see a scientist." <laughs> like, how do they get to that point? It probably is what happened. <laughs> <laughs> like, genuinely, probably is. Actually, I just looked it up. Tim Storms is an American singer and composer. He holds the Guinness World Record for both the lowest note produced by a human and the widest vocal range. Interesting. What so, band yeah, he is actually, he maybe that's how he was just singing. He was just seeing how low he can go. He's 51. And there's like YouTube videos of him doing it. Man with the lowest voice sings Lonesome Road. I'm, all right. Here we go. I've got a wall. Yo, his voice is low, dude. His voice is so low. Whoa. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yo, this is it. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, you win, man. You win. I'm not even going to question this. <laughs> That's insane. It sounds, it sounds like the subwoofers are going off in my ears. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's like he, genu- he genuinely starts hitting like weird tones. <laughs> like, Unnatural. Like, yeah, it's like yeah, whales. They- it's like That's the whales crazy. going like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like he's, he's the human version. Of that's wild. Yeah, that's that's a lot. That's a lot. This guy wins. All right, I'm, I was wrong about you, sir. You, I don't. I'm not even gonna question it. Yeah, don't question. It. That's no, I don't wild. intend to. Um, that's your fact of the day. <laughs> All right, what is our big news story of the day? <laughs> <laughs> you almost there. hit me with like, come on all y'all, it's a sabotage. <laughs> he was right there. <laughs> Chicken wings, advertised as boneless, can have bones, Ohio Supreme Court decides. Wait, what? Wait, what? Yeah. They say they're advertised as boneless, but they can have bones in them. I don't know what that means. Are they saying, like, it... <sighs> You ever think that like <laughs> stupid people run shit because that makes no sense? I mean, if I had to guess, I would say there's probably like bits, like fragments of bone in the chicken wing, and that's what they're referring to. So it's probably some guy that was like, uh, actually, there are bones in these boneless wings that are advertised because there's like little bone fragments that get crushed up that are technically traceable. Like, it's probably that shit. Oh, okay. I mean,. <laughs> sure, it just makes for a ridiculous headline to be like, "Bones can be in boneless wings." Like, yeah. What? Okay. Well, what, maybe, is, what, I mean, maybe, what do they say? <laughs> maybe there are. Who knows? Consumers cannot expect boneless chicken wings to actually be free of bones. A divided Ohio Supreme Court ruled Thursday. Dude, they were divided. They're like, <laughs> "This is intense." There were some justices on that court that was like, "This is yeah. the stupidest thing we've ever done. Why are we hearing this this case?" Well, it says, "Okay, rejecting claims by a restaurant patron who suffered serious medical complications from a bone getting stuck in his throat." All right, see, that's the thing. That wasn't a bone fragment, dude. That's a bone. That man uh, ate a full bone. My theory is much better. This guy is straight up ate bones in his boneless wings. Uh, <laughs> this has got to be like a one-time thing, then. But then, what if it's a one-time thing? Why are they having a Supreme Court meeting over it? That's what I'm saying. So what? The, and, and their answer was, it's fine. <laughs> what? <laughs> Michael Berkheimer was dining with his wife and friends at a wing joint in Hamilton, Ohio, and ordered the usual boneless wings with Parmesan garlic sauce. When he it was a, it was a Buffalo Wild Wings, 100. percent I believe this. Oh yeah. To bon- <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings has gone down in quality over the years, and I imagine oh, if there's ever if there's ever a place that would give you bone <laughs> in boneless wings, it's Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah, hundred percent. As somebody who ate Buffalo Wild Wings for a sub goal, or it was a uh, well, yeah, one of my sub goals for a subathon. So I was like, I used to eat these on stream back in the day. I'll do it again. Now those were some terrible wings. He felt a bite-sized piece of meat go down the wrong way. Three days later, feverish and unable to keep food down, Berkheimer went to the emergency room where a doctor discovered a long, thin bone that had torn his esophagus and caused an infection. What the shit? Oh my god! Berkheimer sued the restaurant Wings on Brockwood. Oh, it's called Wings on Brockwood. Oh, well, that sucks. Brookwood. 
uh, saying the restaurant failed to warn him that so-called boneless wings, which are, of course, nuggets of boneless, skinless breast meat, could contain bones. The suit also named the supplier and the farm that produced the chicken, claiming all were negligent. In a 4-3 to three ruling, the Supreme Court said Thursday that boneless wings refers to a cooking style and that Berkheimer should have been on guard against bones since it's common knowledge that chickens have bones. The high court sided what? with lower courts that had dismissed Berkheimer's suit. Wait, so every court so far was like, you guys should know better. <laughs> yeah. To, to expect not bones and something called boneless wings. Well, it was four to three. So it was split, and then one guy was like, yeah, I should know. That's... <laughs> God. I mean, that's... I, I, look, I, under, I understand... That in theory, chickens have bones, so you can't 100% expect. It's, it's the reason why they don't say like bug free jelly. Like, you right. didn't expect there's gonna be like a bug leg or something in your jelly, deal with it, right? Like, mm. that's just life. Yeah. But you specifically call them boneless wings. That's true. I mean, I, I, that's like, it'd be like if you said seedless grapes and there was a seed in it. Yeah. It's like, well, that's uh, a, there's a seed in my grape that's not seedless. You can't pretend it's not. If you called them chicken nuggets, then maybe, and you found yeah. bones, oh, that you'd works. be like, yeah, so yeah, that would work. That's a nugget of chicken. What's a chicken? Meat and bone. So you're fine. Legally, I think you'd be fine. If they call yeah. them chicken nuggets, yeah. But boneless yeah. chicken wings, is uh, you're, you're not saying, supposed to have bones. Yeah, you're saying it's a chicken wing, which we all know has a bone in it, or multiple bones, and uh, this one doesn't. You're saying to people it does not have bones. It's in yeah. the name. And I think that's the difference. Yeah, if you were to call it chicken fingers, that's fine. Chicken nuggets, that's fine. Anything, but boneless is in the name. You can't, <laughs> I don't know, that seems stupid to me. And they're saying it's a cooking style, but like. B boneless is, is a cooking style? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound like a cooking style. It sounds like what it is. Yeah, if they said breaded chicken balls, then I, that's the cooking style. <laughs> breaded, <laughs> yeah. breaded, fried up covered in sauce chicken balls and i'm like yeah you got it nailed it that's the style yeah and i mean it's it's just straight up like chicken nugget they're like glorified chicken nuggets uh, i i mean i can see both sides i can see him being like he should know like hey there could be some bones left over here because like yeah you never know especially with all the processes and stuff it goes through but at the same time i can see him being like these are supposed to be boneless there's a bone in them he'd be like hey you're right I feel like oh, yeah. Gordon Ramsay changed me because now <laughs> when I see fresh on a menu, I don't even trust that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because they're like, well, it's fresh frozen. I'm like, that's not what that means then. That, that's not that's not fresh. Oh yeah. Fresh frozen. Yeah, you can't I can't do that. I refuse I refuse to accept it. <laughs> um a dinner reading boneless wings on a menu would no more believe that the restaurant was warranting the absence of bones in the items that believe that the items were made from chicken wings, just as a person eating chicken fingers would know that he had not been served fingers, Justice Joseph T. Dieters wrote for the majority. The dissenting justices called Dieters' reasoning utter jabberwocky. It is. <laughs> now that's some jabberwocky. That's full jabberwocky. Yeah, and uh, said a jury should have been allowed to decide whether the restaurant was negligent in serving Berkheimer a piece of chicken that was advertised as boneless. Quote, the question must be asked, does anyone really believe that the parents in this country who feed their young children boneless wings or chicken tenders or chicken nuggets or chicken fingers expect bones to be in the chicken? Of course they don't. Justice P. Uh, Correct. Justice, Correct. <laughs> Justice Michael P. Donnelly wrote in the dissent, when they read the word boneless, they think that means without bones, as do yes. all sensible people. Yes. <laughs> Massive win for Justice Michael P. I'm with you, Michael P. MP, I'm with you. <laughs> yeah. I. Uh, yeah. I mean, you shouldn't. You shouldn't have bones in there. Like. One guy is saying, we should know that the chicken wing is part of a chicken which contains a bone, right? Like, mm. that's what we should know, which is true. But then when you say boneless, you supersede the previous knowledge we had. Yeah. No, I agree now. So the assault and, and, and all the other things like chicken fingers, chicken tenders, whatever, saying it's not a finger, of course it's not a finger. We know that. We have the expectation. 
and we expect there not to be bones in there because it's been served without bones for so long, similar to boneless chicken wings. You yeah. can get rid of boneless and say this is a meatball of chicken with breading on it, and like that's fine. What you're saying to us then still is that it's been served without bones for so long that there's no bones in it. Like the expectation is no bones. So yeah. I just fundamentally disagree with this and, and like the core of my being. I'm like, y'all, is anyone going to pay for the fact this man got an infection after eating at your food place? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you going to cover that? Because I feel like you should at least do that. If you're not going to give him a million dollars, at least be like, we got your medical bills. Like, come on. That's yeah, stupid. They should cover his medical bills. But then 100%. they'd have to admit they were wrong, and then leak. You know, uh, so yeah. dumb. Oh, I hate. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> yeah, it's dumb. So there you go. Honestly, that was a more uh, in-depth, intense story than I imagined. It really was. Yeah. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew we'd get here? Who knew? Um, yep. And that's the big news story of the day. All right. Well, that's it for us. Thanks so much for listening and watching. I'm enjoying this show. Crendor, hit them with socials. We've got socials, youtube.com slash Cox and Crendor podcast, all one word. That's where all these podcast episodes are. You can go watch every year. You can go listen to all of them if you want. I don't know why you would, but you can. You can. Uh, you can. Uh, we also got youtube.com slash Cox and Crendor. It's where all the live anim or live, I don't know, the animations are. <laughs> they are not live animations. Uh, there's also Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud. We're on all the podcast things. Uh, also find us on our own things. YouTube, Jesse Cox, YouTube, Crendor, Twitter, Jesse Cox, Twitter, Crendor, Facebook, Jesse Cox, Facebook, Crendor, TikTok, Jesse Cox, TikTok, TikTok, Crendor, TikTok, uh, TikTok, uh, Patreon, Jesse Cox, Patreon, Crendor, YouTube, Crend Clips, YouTube, Cox Clips, uh, the Dodger Coffee, uh, the, the, Twitch TV, just guys, Twitch TV, Crendor. I even say that. I don't know. Whatever. Just search us if you want. All right. Thanks so much for listening. We'll see you all next time. And as always, shake the rhino to be continued.